Carl Gallops is a 30-year pastor, best-selling author, host of Freedom Friday with Carl Gallops, and founder of PNN. He joins us now on this edition of the program. Discuss, amongst other things, the uh, position of Planned Parenthood, some very bizarre and shocking statements from Representative Jan Slikowski, as well as, um, well, the gay slogan having to do with uh, Love Wins and so many of the other... Uh, well, cultural degradation that this nation is going through, and we welcome Pastor Gallops in to this edition of the program. Hello, Pastor. How are you, sir? Hey, Michael Hart. I'm doing great. What an honor to be with you tonight. Well, and your so, great audience at 101. The the uh, the the honor is all mine, and uh, we as you point out, we've got a big audience here at Superstation 101, and of course across the globe. We're in New York now, in Albany, New York, and so many other places as well. And so we are delighted to have the opportunity not just to share your views right here in the Bible Belt, but more, some of the more liberal bastions around the country. <laughs> all right, Pastor Gallops. I know that we talk about the morality of this nation all the time give us your insights into what in the world's going on because these comments about Planned Parenthood for one thing and the whole love wins thing as it relates to homosexuality I hate to say we're going to hell in a handbasket because that sounds like such a trite statement but it seems very much something like it yeah well let me say the same thing just using nicer words we've gone down Alice in Wonderland's rabbit hole haven't we everything's upside down huh it really is, and it's yeah. it, it, it's so upside down that it's for those of us that do this for a living, you know, we, we become somewhat anesthetized to it. But uh, and I think I fear that a lot of the American population is just completely divorced from the reality of it. But for those that are just a casual observer, it's got to seem almost surreal. Yeah. Well, listen, Michael, and, and of course it does. Here, here's the deal. You and I come from a biblical worldview. I know a lot of the listeners will as well. Now, some of them won't, and I'm not going to be preachy, but I, I, I hope that everybody will stay tuned and listen, listen, because you've asked a very deep, a very significant question, a very salient question. And that's you know, what's wrong? What's happening? What's going on? And Michael, I do a lot of TV and radio. I'm very blessed, and I travel the world. I talk to a lot of people. And I hear people, people who don't even really know the Word of God, people who don't go to church, uh, they ask me when they find out that I'm a preacher and, you know, and I'm out there in the public and an author and, you know, in the media, and, and they'll, they'll ask me, you know, what, what's going on in the world? It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't smell right. Something's wrong. People know this, Michael. They feel it. They sense it. And so coming from a biblical worldview, I, I know what the answer is, and that is, it's 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 several fold. First of all, we're living in very prophetic times, and we can talk about some of those prophetic times in just a moment if you'd like. I, I want your audience to know I'm not a date setter. I'm not a hand ringer. I've been a pastor for 29 years in one church on the Gulf Coast, a good sized church. Um, I, I I've been in the ministry over 30 years. I was a Florida law enforcement officer for 10 years, serving with two different sheriff's offices and the Florida Department of Corrections. So I'm a good, solid, balanced guy, a patriot, constitution loving man. And but but I know the Word of God. I'm also a student of geopolitical events. I speak to it all the time, radio, television. So I know what's going on. We're living in very prophetic times. And then secondly, I also know, according to the Word of God, that this is deeply spiritual, Michael. That's why it seems so surreal. That's why it seems so odd to us. How can how can people think the way they do in mass? And 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 the answer to that is. We are being given over to a depraved mind. That those words come right out of the scriptures. When when a culture, when a society, and when a world culture consistently turns its back on God, trashes the word of God, thumbs its nose at collectively at the institutions that God ordained, the institution of marriage, the institution of of human sexuality, marriage, home, family, womanhood, manhood, childhood. We we are thumbing our nose at those things, and we have for decades, and now this year, you know, kind of the epitome of it with the release of the Planned Parenthood videos and baby body parts harvesting and breaking federal laws and state laws and God's laws, and, and, and the Congress won't even defund Planned Parenthood, much less arrest the people that are involved in, in breaking these horrendous laws. 
And then the Supreme Court passes this illegal and unconstitutional and unholy and ungodly gay marriage ruling, and, and now our administration is exporting that to the world, threatening people, uh, nations around the world, that if you don't bow to the homosexual agenda, we're going to withhold our, uh, the money that we send you. So these are the times we're living in. It's deeply, deeply spiritual, but we're watching it played out in the physical realm. And, of course, you know, I'm, a lot of your listeners will think of Ephesians chapter 6 that, that very clearly says, look, our battle's not against flesh and blood. I mean, that's where we see it, but our battle's not against flesh and blood. It's against spiritual powers and authorities in high places. And so, you know, the Bible tells us, uh, put on your spiritual armor because you're going to need it when the day of evil comes. So, so that's just kind of the, the, the general answer, Michael, to your excellent question. We can get as detailed as you'd like, though. 